I got her her hair painted. We'll see if you can. Nothing too interesting yet, but. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and dry for a while before I let that really set up before I peel the mask off. I'm gonna go ahead and get her base coated. And again, I'm gonna use cell vinyl paint for that because of its strong pigmentation and durability. Basically, it's just, it's real bright and uh, the colors are, are very rich. And of course, that's gonna be perfect for uh, for this and I'll probably mix some of the the green and the, the green and the yellow I had been using um, this brand cartoon color but they I think they went out of business or quit making it but luckily Toon Tones is uh, another brand and I've had good luck with it uh, I like it just as much as the cartoon color except for one thing the cartoon color paint dried real flat, just a nice dead flat, and I preferred that over uh, the Toon Tones. That kind of dries uh, a bit glossy. I liked the, the cartoon color when you know it was it was flat. I could airbrush this in and uh, do shading with a, a brush without having to dull coat it in between. Because uh, the paint had, you know, kind of a tooth to it. But I've noticed if I airbrush with with this and when it's got kind of a semi-gloss, um, you know, you go to paint on top of that and you, you have to dull coat it because the paint will just kind of beat up on the surface or it just kind of rolls off, if that makes sense. Technically, this paint is designed to paint on top of a glossy surface, uh, the um, animation cell. So it's it paints on top of itself real nice and no problem there, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some the green, yellow, get a nice uh, bright green going and get her airbrushed or get her base coated and we'll tear off the um, masking and see how clean the edges are. I think you can see here what I was talking about with the uh, uh, the way this kind of dries glossy like that. That's okay. Uh, it's also a little dark. I plan on doing quite a bit of highlights, but just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the masking off of here. Thought about leaving it on overnight, to, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off because I'm curious, and then we'll call that good for the day. It's kind of weird. You can tell this isn't very tacky because a lot of times when I'm you know, use tape or, or something when I, I peel that up it starts bringing up the um, the latex too so what I do is um, I just start to, to kind of peel it can just kind of roll it down and this is where it gets kind of messy too is the paint that's that's on there flakes everywhere and it's coming off real nice and I probably just cursed myself You can use uh, 
tweezers, or sometimes I'll use a post-it tack. So you can use this stuff to kind of pick it up, but I don't want to do that too much because it'll get all embedded in here. and You can only reuse this stuff so many times before it's time to pitch it. So we'll just clean up these edges here. Again, you can use a wet Q-tip with some water. It's another reason to let the paint and everything dry. Just to make sure you're not taking the paint up with it. Looks like there's a... I'm gonna have a little bit of touching up to do, but not bad. Right here I got uh, the latex up a little bit too high on, on the hair, so I want to, I'll get that paint color out and just with the brush go along and sharpen up the edge there. This is actually a lot, a lot better than I thought it would be. I'll finish cleaning all that off and um, then we're gonna seal that. And I'm gonna let that dry for probably a couple days because then I'm gonna I'll go ahead and paint everything else. I'm gonna experiment with the uh, coffee pot so then that'll give all of this the purple hair a good day or two to fully cure and then I plan while I'm working on the rocket to mask this off with the liquid latex again. It's gonna stay on there probably for several hours if not a full day while I do what I need to do to this which is um, spray paint it with uh, gloss black I'm uh, not sure if I want to just kind of you know use a black primer or black paint then gloss coat it or get some gloss black enamel yeah I'll probably go get a, a rattle can of gloss black I've also got the Martian base coated and I used the two tones orange and some of the my old cartoon color Sunflush which is just kind of a warm uh, tan orangey color and I think you can tell the difference between the two even though uh, this has the two tones in it You can tell how flat this is compared to the uh, to the other, and I'm going to do some highlights. Here's my original color too. Curious about that. I lined it even further with some ochre. As I was going through my uh, cartoon color paint, looking to to use some of the green, I found a. Uh, a bottle of it that's, that was uh, starting to dry up and actually coagulate so I'm gonna start making sure I, I'm just gonna start using up this paint. A lot of times I, I save it because you, know, you have to special order it I can't just drive to the store and get it but if you don't use it it's gonna go bad so I'm gonna make sure I, I use as much of it as I can before it goes bad. sure if you can see my airbrush is bubbling up. I've got some air coming back into the cup. And I'm not sure if it's the needle set screw back here or uh, the o-ring here. I need to call. I need to call Tom and take some parts. got his body, the Martian's body, sprayed black and I want to keep the shoes and the belt, or this part of the shoes and the belt, black. So I have that masked off with some uh, liquid latex. 
I thought that would be easier than painting everything silver and then trying to paint black on top of the glossy silver, but um, it would be easier to paint silver, mask it, and then spray the black. That probably would have worked better. I may still have to do it. Um, but I, I definitely want to, I want to use the all clad for the rocket, um, maybe his backpack and the, um, the coffee pot here to make him as glossy as possible or as shiny as possible. And, uh, and I just want to try it cause I never have, but, um, just for my own sanity's sake, I'm going to stick with what I know here and just use some acrylic uh, silver. And in this case, I'm gonna use Model Master. Uh, what color is this? It's uh, aluminum. Uh, aluminum. And then I'm going to mask that off and then paint his suit. In a lot of cases, you can get away with, for small areas, painting it black and then just dry brushing your metallic color on top of it. But so far, I'm airbrushing everything. And I wanna keep that look. I was gonna paint everything silver and then paint the um, his suit, like with the transparent blue to keep the metallic look. But I have some really cool metallic paint that I bought for another project and I never ended up using it. So I'm gonna use that. But I'm still painting, I'm still going to paint the, uh, the outfit entirely silver because I think I'm gonna leave the patches uh, a straight silver. All right, I've got the, um, I went ahead and clear coated the, the silver right on top of the latex I have uh, down here. So that can stay matte. And I knew that the clear coat, it's actually semi-gloss. I knew that would dull the silver a little bit, but I wanted to uh, make sure it was protected because I'm gonna mask the areas off I wanna keep silver, which is uh, the rings and belt buckle and uh, things on the side, patches. And then I spray that with the blue and um, and peel everything off at once. Yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. I still have some of this latex that I, uh, I poured into this cup. And it's been using the press and seal to seal it up and it's it's still good, so. That's cool. Okay, after base coating this with the, um, what's this color again? Arctic Blue Metallic. Um, I tried to, I mixed in some, some of the silver to um, spray some highlights and I didn't really like the way it looked. So I went back over with the Arctic Blue to tone it back down and instead I used this FW Artist ink. Um, sorry, it looks like some other paint exploded all over it. I've had this for a long time and I uh, can't remember why I bought it. Just something to play with, I think. But I used this to kind of spray some highlights and it did give it kind of a neat little shimmery effect. Kind of reminds me of uh, Batgirl's outfit, which uh, I might actually be why I bought this is to um, replicate that with but anyway I'm going to peel off the mask here and keep my fingers crossed I'll start off the this little butt flap here just be careful not to scrape the paint you just underneath what I'm talking about when I say it's it's better to do the the latex on thick if you can it's harder to get a 
a sharp edge sometimes, but the thin latex works, but it's it's harder to peel off. Had some interesting things happen while I was pulling the mask up. You see how the latex pulled out of there right from underneath the paint. And you see how I left behind this membrane of paint. And now we gotta peel off. You can also take an X-Acto knife and score along the edge there. I prefer not to do that because I worry about scraping up the paint. Alright, I got him cleaned up and while I was touching up the belt and the shoes I used the black to kind of accent some of the metallic areas and put a wash in there and the stitchings. I'm going to go back over these metal bits with either some enamel or I might just use the um, the all clad when I, I paint the rocket just we'll see but for now that's I'm gonna let that set and move it on with the Martian I've got the, the veins in his head painted with the um, I use the same green color as the uh, the highlight that I used on, on the Space Girl. Partially being lazy and also I'm using uh, a lot of the same colors. Like I base coated the, um, the base, base coated the base. I've got this base coated with basically the same color I used on him and the accent is the hair color. I'm going to go over this with probably some washes and some sponging to make it a little more interesting. My my reasoning behind it is um, sticker art and other art like that. You know, they got a limited palette. They use a lot of the same colors. So I'll just keep in that look. You're at least trying to you know, get somewhere in between. So now that I have the the veins I wasn't completely happy. I thought he looked he could use a little bit more color, but I'm gonna do that after now that I have the, the veins painted, I'm gonna lighten up this color with some more yellow and then I'll I'll mist over it to kinda of tone down the, the veins a little bit and then I'll I'll hit the highlights again as well. And hopefully that'll then that should do it. This video ran a little long. I tend to just record as I work and then I go through everything and try to edit things down into shorter videos that seem to or might work together. Uh, next I did some experimenting with transparent paints as I worked on the Martian. So that might be next or I may decide to dedicate that into its own separate video. So I may skip to the end where I tackle the chrome which will probably be the most interesting and uh, spoiler alert. Turned out pretty great if I do say so myself. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with the channel and to help it grow. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed so far and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.